Hey, um, I just wanted to put out like an update. I set out to do 30 days with no alcohol um, 30 days ago. And uh, so I was uh, successful. And um, just wanted to share a couple things that I uh, learned and experienced and uh, just kind of where, where I go from here. Um, it wasn't super easy and it wasn't super hard. It was, um, you know, I mean, I was just drinking a few beers, but like every day ish. And, um, those, uh, those beers, uh, don't seem like a big deal when you're, you know, when it's a habit, but then when you quit, it's like, there's a dramatic shift uh, physically <clears throat> and emotionally and, and spiritually. Um, and I noticed that shift about seven to 10 days in, and then it kind of plateaued um, throughout the rest of the 30 days. Um, although certain aspects of my uh, daily experience, you know, continued to change or improve um, while others sort of, you know, got a little bit hard um and sort of stayed that way you know emotionally um if i was um hungry which i was hungry all the time for some reason I, it, the blood sugar and i don't know exactly know why but um i was hungry like 24 7 this last 30 days and um <laughs> if i was especially hungry you know I noticed I could become furious, you know, at almost nothing. Um, and if I was, you know, well fed and like did a hike or a little run or something, um, I'd be like flying, just feeling incredible. So it was really all over the map in, in a lot of ways. But, um, but for the most part, there was a dramatic improvement in my just level of comfort with myself, with my my physical uh, being. I just, you know, sleeping well every night really, um, really shifted some things. Um, and um, and also I, I was tired. You know, by by the time you know 10, 11 p.m. came along, I was ready for bed. You know, I used to sort of get done working or get done doing whatever. And then I, you know, have a couple beers, you know, and, and I'd stay up to do that. Sometimes watching YouTube or whatever till one or two in the morning. Um, I didn't want to do that at all anymore. <laughs> I was just like, let's go to bed and, and have a good day tomorrow. So I started to feel um, that kind of sense of normalcy and uh, of just being, a, you know, part of the world so to speak. Um, anyway, uh, I think that I've decided to do um, 90 days instead of 30 because while 30 was a nice shift and it was uh, important, I feel like there's still so much work to do, you know, within this paradigm, within this new physical, um, you know, sort of uh, normal that I that I'm experiencing to sort of do that work um, while in this mindset, you know, to work on my my blood sugar, just to to eat more stable, you know, nutrient dense, um, timely, you know, meals and snacks. To you know use this extra energy and this extra sort of wherewithal to be uh, active to get out there and do some trail running to you know to just move my body now that i have more energy to do it um and just get just lean into uh you know who i'm meant to be which is the whole point of this and it's the, the whole point of any um self-improvement um so for me i feel like this is less of a scheme and uh, more of a more of a lifestyle shift and 
perhaps one that I can make permanent. But for the time being, you know, my goals of having numerical, you know, value and and uh, nice round numbers, I guess, um, 30, 60, 90, that seems like um, doable. You know, I proved that I can do 30, so why can't I do 90? So anyway, um, that's where I'm at. And um, I'll, I'll keep y'all posted like in another 30 days or something, but so far so good. And uh, I mean, more than anything, um, you know, I feel comfortable and happy and way less desperate, you know, especially after all this madness of the last two years. And I feel more in control. <clears throat> and that's a good feeling. So, all right, talk to you soon.